Welcome back. It's time for part two of testing Stable Diffusion 1.5 models for hands. So I did my usual thing and went completely overboard. I said, screw it, and tested absolutely every model I had, plus almost all the models you suggested. So this episode will have the good, the bad, the ugly, but not negative embeddings, which will be in part three. Altogether, I tested a whopping 30 models. If you care about how I did my testing, go and watch part one first, because that includes my methodology plus results for 16 other models. The bare minimum you need to know is that models can get a score between zero and one, with higher being better. To keep what little remains of my sanity, I made snarky remarks about many of these models, so don't take me too seriously if I talk smack about your favorite model. Anyway, here we go. In 30th place, we have Anything Inc. with an average score of 0.28 which makes it the second lowest scoring model after base SD 1.5. And it has coherency and anatomy issues on top of that. But hear me out. This model is still interesting to me because some of the stuff it puts out is unique among all models I've tested and emulates the style of black and white manga. Even though this needs a lot of refinement, it is clearly trained on a unique data set. Without models like this, our community is like the Habsburg dynasty, just endlessly recombine the same DNA. And you never go full Habsburg. In 29th place is Counterfeit 2.5 with an average score of 0.36. While this version doesn't have the same issues with janky looking miscolored images as 3.0 does, hands are not better. So alas, Counterfeit remains near the bottom among anime models, despite my incorrect conjecture in the last video. In 28th place, we have Mina Unreal with an average score of 0.37. After Rev Animated arrived on the scene, everyone was like, ooh, 2.5D, so hot right now, and went on to make their own 2.5D models. As you might have guessed, the creator of Minamix made this one, but it's pretty jank in general and doesn't perform well, at least not compared to Rev. In 27th place is RPG version 4 with an average score of 0.38. RPG is a very old model released at the end of January and like Deliberate, has been power creeped by more recent models. So, no hate, I just think you have better options to use these days. In 26th place is Babes version 2 with an average score of 0.39. Honestly, I don't even know what I expected with this one. It's waifu bait, and not even the high performance stuff guaranteed to learn every neckbeard and neat within a five mile radius. In 25th place is Anything version 5 with an average score of 0.40. This is the newest iteration of the Anything model. It's hard to believe that Anything version 3 originally came out in November because it was absolutely amazing for that time, and is definitely in the DNA of many current anime models. This one isn't stellar in terms of coherency, but the styles transition to sharper lines, sort of a midway to ink. In 24th place is Abyss Orange Mix version 3 with an average score of 0.41. The most recent version of AOM came out at the beginning of March, making it yet another geriatric model. Once community standby, AOM has been outclassed by more recent models, at least in terms of hands. In 23rd place is ICB INP with an average score of 0.44. Among recently released realistic models, this one has the unfortunate distinction of scoring lowest in my testing. Nothing else really stuck out at me, so I'll just leave it at that. In 22nd place is XXMix underscore 9 realistic version 4 with an average score of 0.46. Despite the model name, I would classify this one as stylized and leaning towards Asian features. While this model definitely leans towards women, X does not carry the same connotations in Asian culture as in Western culture, and the amount of NSFW content is low. In 21st place is Beautiful Realistic Asians Bra 5 with an average score of 0.47. As you might have guessed, this is a realistic model geared towards Asians, and with regard to faces, I would rank it first. However, if you want an Asian feature model that is better with hands, there'll be better options later in this video. In 20th place is Neverending Dream version 1.22 with an average score of 0.47. This model is a side project from the creator of Dream Shaper and is meant to be more compatible with Boras and lean towards anime style. Performance for hands isn't terrible, but definitely nowhere near as good as Dream Shaper. In 19th place is Perugen Infinity with an average score of 0.47. This is an older model that I tested because I saw it mentioned in threads on making realistic images. 
Since it was released in January, I would say it was top tier for the time, but not anymore. In 18th place is Next Photo version 2 with an average score of 0.48. The people generated by this model have a distinctive look, but performance isn't the best. In 17th place is Dark Sushi 2.5D with an average score of 0.48. I'm going to call this one a guilty pleasure. It's quite janky and all over the place in general, not just with hands. But I do really like the style of the model. Also, I made a mistake and didn't update it to version 3, so this is the performance of version 2. In 16th place is Flat 2D Animerge version 3 with an average score of 0.49. This model is a hardline anime model that seems to skew a bit towards chibi style. However, it's not my favorite hardline anime model. It's pretty flexible subject-wise, but it looks like I'll need a bigger negative prompt to put out good-looking images consistently. In 15th place is Mina Pastel version 6 with a score of 0.5, which is extremely close to Mina Mix version 10. I'd say this style is kind of like mixing Mina Mix with a bit of Dark Sushi. Not the top anime model, but fairly competitive. In 14th place is Absolute Reality with an average score of 0.5. This is a realistic model by the same creator as Dream Shaper and was apparently something of an accident. Performance is very middle of the road for hands, and alas, a new version came out after I completed testing. In 13th place is A Zabia Photoreal version 2 with an average score of 0.5. This is a photorealistic model by the creator of A Zavia RPG Artist Tools. It's okay, but I think we can do better. In 12th place is Mistune Amethyst version 2 with an average score of 0.51. This model is meant to imitate a pre-CGI Disney style and does a pretty decent job of it. However, this model spits out a lot of black images for me, and beware, it isn't nearly as squeaky clean as Disney animation would imply. In 11th place is Dark Sushi 2.25D with an average score of 0.52, which is very solid among anime models and very close to OG Dark Sushi Mix. I don't like the style of this model quite as much as 2.5D, and it's only slightly better on the hand front, so I'll probably use 2.5 instead of this one. In 10th place is Mistune Anime with an average score of 0.53. This one came as a bit of a surprise because this model is not that popular with less than 30k downloads yet scored just below the top anime model from the last video, Cetus Mix version 4. The model has a hardline cartoon style and is meant to be a hybrid of western and anime styles. I prefer this one over the flat 2D Animerge. In 9th place is Lyrial version 1.6 with an average score of 0.54. I actually did a full review of this model and it's solid, though a bit limited in subject matter. It's not a bad model, but stylized models were the most competitive category, so alas, this performance wasn't enough to even break the top three. In 8th place is an update that came out just as I was making this video, Realistic Vision version 3 with an average score of 0.54. The new version scored better than version 2 and the style is more crisp, but alas, that wasn't enough to reclaim the top spot for hands among realistic models. In 7th place is Reliberate with an average score of 0.54. Reliberate was recently created by the same creator as the venerable Deliberate model and shows much improved performance. I tested too many similar realistic models, so nothing really sticks out to me about this one. At number 6 is Illustro version 1 with an average score of 0.54. For some reason, the images look blurry and muddy despite using the recommended VAE. At this level, most models are spitting out great-looking images without some magic phrase in the prompt, so that's a pretty serious drawback in my book. In fifth place is Henex Real version 4 with an average score of 0.55. This model is the highest scoring model among those focusing on Asian features. It's pretty good overall, but seems to skew towards portraying women, and the model has a really big file size, almost 7 gigabytes. In fourth place is Photon with an average score of 0.55 and the second highest scoring realistic model. Compared to the top model, Photon is more diverse and I saw people from all continents in the results. It might have a little less NSFW content too, but it's still there. Another plus is that it doesn't skew too hard towards portraying women. 
In third place is Miss Toon Ruby with an average score of 0.56, which is the top scoring model among anime and cartoon models. As you can tell by the name, the model was also created by Inzaniac, the creator of Miss Toon Anime, which also scored very well among anime models. This model does have its flaws too. The subject matter is pretty narrow, probably from a small training set. In second place, we have Project AIO version 5 with an average score of 0.57 and the top stylized model for this round of testing. I was initially skeptical of this one, but it actually performs quite well, and not just for hands. However, it is thirstier than an 18-year-old after crossing the entire Sahara Desert, so if you have a low tolerance for adult content, this model isn't for you. In first place, and the top realistic model among all those tested, is Epic Realism Pure Evolution version 3 with an average score of 0.58. While that score is still below Rev and Zabia, it replaces Dream Shaper as the third highest score. I'm really a fan of this one. Unlike many models that skew strongly towards portraying women, this one seems to actually output men without being prompted. So bravo to the creator, Epinkion, for making a great model. Now that we've gone through all 30 models for this video, let's break things down by category for all 46 models we tested across both videos. As a quick refresher, I'm showing the results from two sample Z-tests which tell us how significant the difference between the two samples is. Green cells mean we're at least 90% certain the model in the column is better than the row. Yellow is at least 80% certain, and red is less confident than that. Starting with anime and cartoon, here's a chart showing the models in the order of score, with the top five being Dark Sushi Mix, Dark Sushi 2.25D, Miss Toon Anime version 1, Cetus Mix version 4, and Miss Toon Ruby version 2. Statistically, these are all very close together, so we can't say with high confidence which of them is the absolute best. While that gives you a lot of leeway to choose between anime models without much performance loss, anime models on the whole score the lowest among our categories. Moving on to stylized models, things are a bit more interesting. We see performance ranging from really bad to the best among all models tested. Rev Animated 1.2.2 had the highest score of any model, but the next three models Project AIO version 5, Zavia 3, and Dream Shaper 6 scored close enough that we can't say with high confidence that Rev outperforms them. For our largest category, Realistic Models, we see a lot of competition between 0.5 and 0.55. Epic Realism Pure Evolution version 3 scored the best by a decent margin, but because there was so much competition, there are five other models in the running for best hands among the Realistic Models. Realistic Vision version 3, Reliberate, Illustro, Henmix Real, and Photon. To wrap it all up, here are my top picks in each category, and I've linked them in the video description. If this video let you know which Stable Diffusion 1.5 models had the best hands, like and subscribe to support the channel. And stay tuned for part 3 of this series, where I'll be testing a variety of negative embeddings to see which of them can help you make better hands as well. As always, thank you for watching, and see you next time.